Hi, my Aries and Aries Rising friends, Sandra from Voyagee.com. We're here today to do your monthly reading for August of 2021. Welcome to it. Thanks for being here. I have a quick announcement. I'm going to change the order in which I record these videos. So for August, it's going to be Leo's because Leo is their birthday. It's their birthday time. However, going forward until further notice, I'm going to be doing a little bit of a contest and the videos that have the most likes, that is the video that I'm going to start first. So make sure you hit that like button and maybe the Aries will win the competition for September. Okay, but let's look, let's not go <laughs> too far. Let's look at August 1st. Heart Chakra. Wow. So this means that your that energy center in your heart space is wide open to receive right now. Why is it wide open to receive right now? You got the summertime card, which is also green. Now, either you're really loving life right now or you just really love summertime. And so therefore, it's like you're like the old saying of Abraham tuned in, tapped in, turned on. That's where you guys are at right now as you head into August and congratulations. And speaking of congratulations, it appears that there is something to celebrate in your second, second house of finances and your stuff. This could be receiving a gift from someone. This could be uh, receiving a bonus check or receiving a nice little surprise of money. Um, this could be earning extra money. And the advice from the Oracle Fairy deck here is perfect timing. The bottom of this card said this is the right time for you to move forward. You may also be making an investment. You may be moving money out of an investment into something else, something that has made money, and now you are cashing it out to do something else with the money, and if so, um, congratulations on that. Now, your third house rules siblings, brother, sister, you have rest and rejuvenate, so this card is for them. They may need to take a time out or a break, or they may need more rest. Now, if this is a break from a relationship, or if this is taking a break from a certain kind of career, I feel like this has to do with divine timing. They did get the spring card here. So this tells me that whatever they're taking a break from, and for some of them, it just might be that they're running low on energy now. And things will return or get better in the springtime for them. So if they're, you know, if you get a call from your brother or sister and they say, I've had to take a break from so and so or this particular thing, just and they're kind of bummed out about it, just let them know that they can get back on track later. It is quite a bit later because it's next year springtime. Fourth house, house of home. So this is your house where you live, but also sometimes your father can show up in the fourth house. You have the karma card here. So this is something big, major. If there's not something major going on with your home right now, then there's going to be something major going on in the life of your father or your father figure. Um, you have the autumn card. You got almost all the seasons here except for winter. Oh, you did get all four seasons. <laughs> You guys got all four seasons. Okay, so four seasons is a sign for someone out there. If you've been considering booking a hotel at the four seasons, then let this be your confirmation. Or maybe the four seasons has another symbolic indicator for you. If so, you know who you are. Okay, so autumn in your fourth house. This could be a move. For some of you Aries, if you're planning on a move, then it will take place in the autumn months, September, October, even into November of this year. You may be planning for that now, however, or you may have received the signs, the handwritings on the wall. You've got to get out of your place. You've got to get out of the location. Maybe you're looking to change geographic locations. And if that is not true for you, as far as the move or a renovation or some sort of major change like that, 
It could also be your father is in store for a major change and the handwriting is on the wall come August this month and then, sorry, August, <laughs> and then um, you or all of you or, you know, you, he, the family will see the results come to fruition in the fall months. Okay, moving on here, fifth house. Fifth house is your social circle, it's your fun. For those of you single Aries, it's also your dating life. And choose wisely is a major caution flag and potentially a red light stop because it means do not make any major or harsh rash decisions in August. It's time, to, especially for those of you that have, are talking to multiple people right now on the dating scene. If that is you, then this message is to take a step back and reassess the playing field here because there is one that's on the table that's a good choice and the rest are not a good choice. However, it is not time to make a decision because you do not have all the information yet. It's too early. And number two is there is a whole lot of, like you could make the wrong decision if you choose right now. The energy is too scattered. You feel like this is like a frantic type of choice. And whenever you're making a decision like that, it's not a good idea to pull the trigger on the decision until you are in a better feeling place about it. Okay, spiritual teacher is here for the fifth house message. Now, for some of you who are already coupled or who are not dating or talking to someone, this could be that a spiritual teacher comes in for you in within your friendship circle. So this could be someone who you know, um, who took a class with so-and-so and they want to introduce you or they're inviting you to attend a class or they're inviting you to meet a spiritual teacher. And for those of you who have already met spiritual teachers along the way and that this is not showing up for you in August, then you may actually be the spiritual teacher that this message is talking about. Okay, sixth house of work. Sixth house also rules your health, but for the majority of you, this is talking about your work. This is the card of financial challenges. Now, because this came up in your sixth house and not your money house, it does not appear to be affecting your money that much in the month of August because there's no indication that it's coming into the second house. Now, we'll have to pay close attention to see what shows up in your September reading for next month. Um, but when I pull this in the sixth house, typically it means that for those of you that have been working at a place for quite some time, you could see changes within your workplace as far as their cutting back expenses. You could see Sometimes I see like the work supplies where they change vendors to a cheaper vendor or they change products to a cheaper version of the same thing. I have also seen this card mean um, that other people within your workplace get laid off, but usually not you. You have flower power in your sixth house. All right, so this is speaking to your health, your overall health, emotional, physical well-being. Flower power suggests that you may want to look into flower remedies and essential oils, uh, diffusing them in your space. I know the back remedies, the flower remedies are taken internally. Consult your practitioner professional practitioner. This is definitely not any type of advice because I'm not into anything like that. Okay, so you guys might want to look into that to um, give you that little extra power energy that you guys might require in the month of August and also to make you feel better. And also if you might want to bring this uh, diffuser, if it is essential oils, into your workplace if you can do that. Give you a little bit of a lift. 
energetic left. Okay, seventh house, memories of love. This is the six of cups in traditional tarot. It means like nostalgia, you reminiscent of times past of a relationship. Could be a different relationship, could be a relationship with an ex, or it could be the relationship that you're in now, but in a, when it was in a different time. Assertiveness. Okay, so this card talks about asking for what you want. The bottom of this card says stand up for your beliefs and only say yes if you really want to. All right, so um, your partner here may be trying to push you guys into doing something that you don't want to do. Good luck with that with an Aries, right? Funny, but not funny because it's so true. Okay, eighth house recognition and reward. Now, for those of you coupled Aries, the, the eighth house rules the source of your significant other's income for those of you coupled. So this could mean that your partner receives a little extra added bonus money. And typically it's unexpected. Now, remember the message that we got in the second house. So this message is mirroring the second house for those of you that are coupled or that do receive money from some sort of relationship. That's good news. This house also rules taxes, contracts, legal matters. Some of you Aries could be getting money from one of those avenues. You could be settling a lawsuit. You could be settling a tax issue matter and owing less than you thought. Um, or for those of you that deal with contracts, you may receive a contract deal or gig, which brings in more money. Could be a side gig. Now check this out. Business venture. The Aries could definitely be doing something on the side here, bringing in more money. We have three cards now that talks about money, 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 and the celebration in the second house tells me that you shouldn't worry about that card in the sixth house. You've got something extra going on, and if you've been considering something extra but you haven't done it yet, I would go back to this advice card in the second house, which talks about perfect timing and to go for it. So those of you Aries, I feel like I've been giving this message all year about the go for it side gig thing let me know if i'm not correct on that send me a put a comment give me a comment in the comment section okay ninth house ninth house rules travel and also higher knowledge so this is your trips this is your education destiny destiny is the wheel of fortune in traditional tarot it is the luckiest card in the whole deck you also have another message to go for it here You've got the power, this card says. Use your abilities to resolve the situation. You can do it. So if you have been thinking that you shouldn't take this trip or you shouldn't sign up for this class or you shouldn't go through with it or finalize it or something like that, I do feel like this is the green light that means go for you guys. Take your proper precautions, of course. But especially if this has to do with um, learning a new skill, okay? I feel like that's greatly going to benefit you in the future. Tenth house rules your career, sacral chakra, and also your mother. For those of you that have uh, mothers that are still here on the planet, this could be talking about her. Otherwise, this is talking about your career. The sacral chakra talks about desire. I want you want something here, or your mother wants something here. However, you or your mother want it so badly that you are actually pushing it away from you. You have to get out of this place of want and lacking and into gratitude for what you already have mode. There's a significant birthday that has to do with divine timing that surrounds your wish, what you're asking for. So, whosever birthday pops up in your head, and it could be your own birthday, I would suggest that you put a calendar entry in your phone, whomever this birthday is, find, you know, you may not even know their birthday yet, you may have to research it, whoever just popped into your head, this is a message. Write the calendar entry in your phone, Sandra said, this birthday is significant, this date is significant to me in my career or this date is significant to my mother, and then pay attention to the events that surround the birthday. Now, 
The key to this manifestation is going to be detaching from the outcome. Make the wish, make the ask, make the prayer request, and then get yourself busy enough to put it out of your mind, busy on your other work and projects, so that this manifestation can come to you. Eleventh house, the children. Conflict and defeat. So, your child may have an argument with someone and it is advised it is an advice to them not to engage in the argument, to walk away. The other person is not making any sense whatsoever. Now, this could definitely, for some of you, be an argument with your child, where your child is not making any sense and you're just like, you know what, we have to talk about this later because you're not hearing me. It happens all the time. Now, you do have the winter card here. Now, so, so whatever argument is taking place here, it's important to pay attention to the details of the argument. Number one, who is this argument with? Is, is this argument with your child or is this argument with your child and someone else? And what are the circumstances surrounding it? Because this appears to rear its head again in the winter months. So pay attention to that. Now, we have the 12th house here, material harvest, holy cow. All right, this is amazing. The 12th house represents what's about to happen in three months from now because it's the future. It's what's under the surface waiting to come in. This is a money card. This is you reaping the harvest of your abundance, your seeds that you have previously sown in the months leading up to November, right? You've got the power here, business venture, recognition and reward here, celebrating money here. <laughs> Do you see, this is all leading up to one big finale here at the end of the year, as long as you go down this path. And for some of you, it's continuing to go down the path. Now, you did pull the daughter card, so this could be your daughter or it could be a younger female or feminine energy that is present with you that will help you in this regard. She may be helping you in this business venture, endeavor, whatever this is that's bringing in money uh, at the end of the year. And really now, it starts now, and maybe it started earlier this year, but I really do see it starting to manifest right now and you reaping the abundance right now. Thanks for being with me, Aries. Make sure you share with your Aries friends whom you think this video will help, and don't forget to like it. Thanks so much.